Clicky gang. Hey everyone, this is Elastico and today we'll be checking out a clicky build from a popular YouTuber here and this is going to be like my new series. Of course, I'm not going to make uh, I'm not going to be like upset at everyone here because I know that they specialize on ninjas and tactile builds and they don't really focus much on clickies because, you know, what the custom community keyboard says, um clicky is bad which I think it's a free stupid um, statement but yeah as a clicky gang this is gonna be like a very very interesting um, series and if you guys uh, want, want me to continue, continue this series more then be sure to leave a like and subscribe because uh, with your support I will continue making these types of content and of course some other series out there uh, yeah so this is going to be a very very fun video. Uh, this is gonna be like a non-scripted, unlike any other review, like any other uh, videos I did. And uh, yeah, so since I'm a clicky gang here, uh, I will of course gonna give uh, like some suggestions and a little bit of rating in the end of the video, and see what my thoughts are. Uh, do keep in mind that this video over here is I already watched this, but I forgot mostly of them. All I remember left is that they're using MT3 profile keycaps and a Keychron Q1, and I forgot most of it. So, yeah. So in this first video, in this first episode of this series, we'll be checking out Hippiotech's um, la world's loudest keyboard. That's a pretty bold statement if I ever saw one, and. Yeah, I wanted to see. Like, I forgot. I, I near. I forgot like what kind of content this thing is. So, yeah, let's get started already. Oh yeah, if you guys notice that my quality is completely different now from the uh, like my previous videos from a month ago, uh, is that I finally got myself a new micro, uh, like a new new camera, not microphone. I got myself a new camera now. So what I have here now is a uh, Sony A6400. So it's capable up to like 4K recording. So that's why you guys see me like I upload videos in 4K now. So that's gonna be very exciting. I do want to like commit myself uh, making YouTube videos now. So yeah. So if you guys uh, wanted me to support and doing stuff like this, uh, then consider subscribing to my channel because it's will definitely gonna help me a lot. So. Yeah, with that being said, uh, let's get started with the video. So, uh, in the in the beginning of the video, I see uh, MT3 profile keycaps, and I think that's using a aluminum aluminum uh, plate here. That's interesting. Now you're probably thinking, "Oh my God, Hippio, no, stop! Please don't ruin the keyboard." Ah. Oh, we'll did it remove later. the gaskets? Howdy, I forgot Hippio about Techno. that. And I previously made the quietest keyboard. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, forgot about that. Yeah. Lost to switch and click because they made the loudest keyboard. Oh God, no! Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give this. Okay. Key. I forgot about the blue Sorry, bombs. But I'm not a sword. I actually forgot about the blue bombs. Actually, I am pretty curious with the uh, blue bomb switches because I never tried them. I do have a Temu dustproof, and I know that's one of the components to make blue bombs. I still need the Temu Phoenix switches though. If you guys actually want me to make a video of that, let me know in the comments and I'm more than happy to like try them. Because I heard really bad things about that switch and it will be a very interesting concept. Or like, very interesting review as a clicky gang. Okay. A loser? I've never been a sore loser. No. Sore Instead loser. of making a quiet keyboard again, I've decided to make the loudest keyboard possible. Loudest keyboard. Oh okay. I forgot about like switch uh, like switch and click actually makes a a loudest clicky board too. Um yeah sure. I'm actually down to like to like see what the fuzz is all about with her board. So yeah, if you guys want me to continue the series then uh that would probably going to be the next one. So yeah, let's see. Take on it. Without a screw. One singular One screw. Sc oh, oh, the humanity. God, okay. In order to do this, I'm gonna be taking oh, this the Keychron Q1 uh, and turning it into board. a monstrosity. I'm sorry, Keychron. Well, I mean, it looks pretty, but oh, it's sure it not gonna look sound pretty. pretty. It does look pretty slick. I do like that. 
like like it's black it's like it's like dark purple and black team here it really, i kind of like it especially if it like really fits in with a setup steam keyboard keychron q1 the keyboard yeah in this case i decided to use the keychron q1 and i'm sorry keychron this was sent to me for you don't have to early, apologize but I, 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 if i have to be honest a hollow keyboard like a keychron q1 the version one not the version two the version two i think is they fixed the hollow issue i think but the keychron Q1, uh, the first version one, that the one I have right now, I think it it it's very it's doable for clicky boards actually because of how hollow it is. Uh, you just have to modify it. Uh, you just have to modify it uh, correctly. Not like you have to fill every like every single space because with 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 um, space like if there are like barely any spaces or even no spaces at all. Uh, it would actually make clicky sound like really high pitch and horrible. But if you manage to mod it correctly, it will sound amazing. So, yeah. Uh, a Keychron Q1 is actually like a like a like the first version of Keychron Q1 would be actually a pretty decent uh, metal build because of like how relatively hollow the board is. You just have to like mod it uh, to make it uh, good. I don't think they had this in mind. Now the Keychron is one of those boards that got made fun of a lot for being very pingy and pingy. I'm yeah. gonna be playing on that. Sh yeah, I think with the pinginess, uh, a lot of people hate. The Keychron Q1, the version 1, uh, because of how pingy it is. I think that only applies to linears and tactile switches. I managed to make the pingy sound gone with a bit of a modding, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, pinginess is more of a preference thing. Like There are some people who likes pinginess, there are some that doesn't. Um, people who use IBM boards like the Buckling Springs, those ones are really, really spring pingy, but if I have to be honest, that's one of my top three uh, favorite uh, clicky switches I tried. So, yeah. I was actually like, in I was initially not really a fan of uh, spring pings, but like now it's like started to grow on me. But, you know, what happened to my, my IBM board? It, I accidentally broke it and I'm trying to fix it. So, yeah. Rip. <laughs> oh my god, okay. As far as why I went with a 75% over something like a 65%, I figure more case means more room for reverberations. That's actually true. Um, if you want to have a like more re like more reverb and like more more space to the keyboard, uh, you might actually need to find like a hollow keyboard. Let's say a Saturn 60 or a NCR 80. That's actually like one of my like that, I'm actually planning to make uh, buy that keyboard for a next keyboard build so stay tuned for that ncr80 NCR would be a nice one and yeah but, but keychron Q q1 is actually a decent option too if you are looking for an a, like alum like aluminium build so yeah i also didn't have any tkls or full-size boards oh, i doesn't have tkl okay so that's fair that's fair because the they i guess 75 percent is like the next best thing uh before tkl yeah, I guess that big. makes sense. Now, now, I'm not saying the Keychron is a bad board. It's just a board that requires a lot of modding to reach enthusiast standards. Yeah, that's true. Um, I actually mod a, a crap ton with this Keychron Q1 here. So I did a force break mod. I had, I did two ways, like two different ways of PE foam mod. I did. Uh, I did Tempest mod and like some uh, maybe some other mods here that I forgot that I listed. I'll just list it on the description below, like what mods that I did on this keyboard. But yeah, like I I did heavy, I did a lot of modding on this just to make it sound good. I did try a couple different cases though, like the Idabel ID87 V2 almost fit the bill, but it wasn't quite hollow enough, wasn't quite loud enough. I yeah. found that the polycarbonate bottom just made it a little bit too muted, and I wasn't gonna. Polycarbonate is actually, I think, I don't, I, I don't have any experience with polycarbonate, but in, 
But I think they're going to be beneficial with clickies because they're out of pla because they're plastic. Get the type of sound that I was looking for out of it without substantial modding. Just listen to this. That's not too bad. So, bad seed tech said it best going on here. Well, I'll figure that out later. It's time to take the foam out. Ew, foam? Ooh. I actually, I think this one is an EBA foam. I don't like this types of foam. Uh, when I put it back, uh, it doesn't it doesn't really like like it 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 eliminates the bouncy feel of the keyboard. That's why I removed them. I just replaced them with like a thin layer of PE foam. Uh, so that sounds a little bit more talky, and at the same time more poppy too. Along with the along with the tape mod. We don't want. So, yeah, I just I just discarded the uh, the EVA foam from this. So this keyboard came with case foam pre-installed. And we don't really want that. We want to accentuate the hollowness. We want this board to sound as pingy as a League of Legends game across the United States. What? But let me just remove this. Oh, oh I room in the oh, board. No. It's Let's okay. It I don't like EVA yeah, foam. So it's as you see, too hollow. this just sounds like a keyboard. That it's time to access the PCB foam. I'm not sure how much this was actually doing for the build, but you know what? It's foam. It's um PCB foam actually made quite a bit of a quite a bit of a difference uh compared to without it i don't like pcb foam i also removed that for my keychron build dampening our sounds we're gonna remove this bad boy and get it out of here too. Yeah, yeah yeah get Bye. that thing out of also, there i guess it's only good if you're going for linears and tactiles builds especially if you're looking for a muted uh build but with if you're gonna go for clickies you should remove them because uh they're they're bad <laughs> like it just it, it, it just it just like the more the more roomy the board is the better it is for clickies on the process a stabilizer wire came out that's of that's the golden rule for clicky builds but i guess hey it'll make the stabilizer sound worse yeah get so the thing away good. from here uh here's another clip of me yeah, throwing thank you. away the foam okay. for some ungodly reason i felt like it was worth including yeah it's part oh this he uses box of jades for this uh it looks like a normal box which is like normal jade switches um a lot of people say that the loudest like i think from what i remember most keyboard enthusiasts say that box jades and navy is going to be like the loudest switch i mean it's ki they're kind of right but like i don't think they're the loudest i do have the loudest switch in my collection actually so what i have here is a probably like what I claim to be is the loudest switch ever. It's like louder than the normal jades. This is a okay. Let me see if I can zoom this thing here. Okay, so this is a box like kale box, um, kale box midnight jade switches. So these are like significantly louder than. Than normal jades. I do have normal. I do have normal jades here too, so we can do a bit of a comparison. So here's the sound test. So yeah. Um, I think this one is a recolor of crystal jade, like box crystal jades. I I don't have box crystal jades on hand, but I hear that they're like a little bit more, like a little bit louder than the standard jades. So say so putting this as the loudest key, like loudest switch. I don't think this is like really the loudest switch. I think the midnight jades are louder, or even the crystal box jades. And these are like a little bit more tactile too, FYI. But yeah, I mean, Jade is like a loud switch, but like it's not the loudest clicky switch out there for me. Thinking I should be using the blue bomb switches that blue I've bombs. used in my previous loudest switch in the world video. I actually did some comparisons, and they weren't anywhere near as loud as Box. Jade. Really? I actually very curious with that. I don't have blue bumps with me like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but I do have dustproof blues. 
which is one of the main components to make the blue bombs. So we do have a comparison, like a rough comparison at least. So here's blue bombs, or this is the uh, the Otemu dustproof blue. I mean, this is this sounds much more rattly and high pitch, and I don't like this switch. And even for me as a clicky gang, I don't like click bars. I like click jacket switches. Click bars are like infinitely better, honestly. Yeah, like who, who makes this type of shit? Like why? With our switches installed, you know what time it is. It's keycap time. Keycaps. Well, it would have been switch B-roll time, but I forgot to film that, so now it's keycap time. It's oh, actually like, I actually, so for, it's kudos for him to using like a high profile keycaps like this. Keycaps, I had quite a few options. I could go with the- Ah, empty tree. I thought this was SA. Okay. So Black Panther empty tree. So I'm guessing this one is from Drop? How much was it? 130 bucks. Okay. So actually that's good. That's a good choice for, for a clicky build. Like empty tree and SA profile keycaps is actually very- is beneficial for clicky for clicky builds actually but i guess with this application too it might work too yeah or i could go with i feel like this keycaps uses a thick keycaps like a thick uh plastic keycaps like this but i would probably you know what i'm gonna i'm just gonna I'm just gonna suggest it in the end of the video. As possible. Yeah. Now these keycaps are tall, thick, and loud. Huh, just like me. Now they're huh. not quite as good as SA. Yeah, profile, look how thick the thing is. But I did not have Look it. at the look how thick the keycaps are. Any SA profile keycaps on hand I'm gonna give you. Okay. Yeah, my god, mm. it sounds pretty awful. But Nah, can... it's not awful. It's okay. it's okay, but it's not the best. I guess for for non non clicky gangs out there, they think it's like unusable for them. But for me, I I, I can I can I can see myself using that board as like a daily driver. Board into a good keyboard in the future, and it would be a shame to ruin them. But then I was like, the memes will be good if you rip them off. Oh, so God. I'm sorry to Keychron and any hopes of this keyboard. I I think you can you you can get like I think you also get like uh, extra gaskets. Ever so I guess good. it's not They're too offensive for good. me, <laughs> but yeah, it kind of pains me to watching this. The sound from getting to the considering case. I am a Q, Keychron Q1 user, pretty decent to type on, even when Betty also time. tried something with solenoids, and that didn't quite solenoids. work. Solenoids, of course. You, they, I don't. Even though this keyboard is is hollow, I don't think it has the space. It still has the space to have solenoids in it. I'm actually very curious with solenoid builds. Like I wanted to try them out. When I heard about when I heard like builds about them and like their sound, the sound the uh, sound test like it's actually pretty satisfying for me. <laughs> the space bar. It's like you're kicking a can. You're kicking a tin can. That's yeah. That's so hollow and pingy. <laughs> That space bar though, it's like you're kicking a tin can. Okay, so I guess that's it for the video. Um yeah, it's 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 something. I if I were going to suggest him, maybe use those I know he hates SA profile keycaps, but if I have to, but if I if you if he wants it to make it more hollow, I would use a keycaps that's also not thick, like thick like thick keycaps. Um, I do have one here. If I know, I put it. So this is what I would rec suggest to him: use a thin thin plastic keycaps that's that preferably SA profile. Because I don't think there are any empty tree profile keycaps that are thin. So like, yeah, something like this would be better for a louder hollow build. Like, look how thin this thing is. 
and and maybe yeah I, th I mean if you're gonna make it like louder like also maybe use a louder switch such as this midnight jades this one's significantly louder than the normal jades uh in my opinion i think this is this is still the loudest clicky switches that i have in my collection and it's yeah it's pretty something <laughs> glad i actually got this one because i because i don't think novel key sells these ones anymore like i got this one from clearance so that's nice um but if but if i were going to suggest to make the keyboard better uh the keyboard is a decent choice an mt3 profile is also a decent choice um i would i would probably follow what i did here like if i if to make it sound better i would probably replace the jade switches i mean jade is a decent switch for me but it's like not the best for me i would probably replace it with a this switch here uh where is my keycap cooler i would replace the box jades to box white v2 switches i am gonna make myself a video of this in the future so stick around for that maybe i'll re maybe i'll post it next week so get ready for that and this one is like i would label this one as a black inks of clicky switches because this thing uh the click is deeper and it's stockier too so here's the jades Yeah, like if you like talky and like lower pitch click sound, like this is actually a very good switch. And it's not even that expensive too, it's like 35 cents a switch. And I think what I would do next is like do two different layers of PE foam. Uh, one between the switch and the PCB and other one below the tape mod. Also put a tape mod in it and I would probably do a force break mod too uh the plate is your op is your it's your uh preference uh for me i use um polycarbonate plates because they feel like you, you can get a bit of a more poppy sound to it but most clicky gangs out there uses either alum aluminium or or steel plate but you know i i guess there are some keychron builds like keychron keyboards uh uses steel plates but yeah, not this one. I do have an aluminum plate there, but I prefer PC plate. But that's just a preference thing, really. Uh, overall, I would probably rate this this loud keyboard um, in like as a click again, maybe a seven and a half, seven and a half out of ten. Uh, maybe like a little like I know he's trying to go for the loudest ever, but. Um, if I have to be honest, a thin plastic keycaps would be a better option than an empty tree. Uh, maybe, and if he's trying to make like a really, at least like a, a decent uh, clicky build, maybe a, like what I suggest uh, would be a better option. So yeah, I guess there's that. So anyways, I guess that will be the end of my first episode of me reacting to uh, like popular YouTubers. Uh, clicky build videos so yeah if you guys want me to continue this series out then be sure to leave a like and <laughs> subscribe to my channel if you guys want to support and yeah so i am i am definitely gonna make this one as a series i'm maybe going to be like every every month maybe actually maybe i'll think about it like what's going to be like the best uh time frame for each of them so yeah, I don't want to be my ch I don't want to be my, my like my channel my channel going to be like the same as like just only a reaction video. I don't want that. I want to, I want it to be like a different type of uh, content and stuff. But you know, uh, yeah. So first of all, we'd like to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, be sure to follow or subscribe to my channel and leave a like and comment down below of what you think about this new series. And yeah, so. 
of course dislike is also an option too because even though YouTube uh, hides out the dislike counter I will still see it through my dashboard so yeah uh, I'll see you guys again on next Friday and until then I'm gonna go ahead and end this video so take care everyone bye bye